welcome back to Camelie. I hate to be starting these videos like this. I'm in the hospital again. This time, I was out to dinner with my sister. I was planning on sleeping over at her house just to have a little girl's night. She lives about 45 minutes from me. So Landon dropped me off there and we were just hanging out. We decided to go to dinner. It was pretty late. But we were both hungry, so I went out to dinner with her and another friend. And I got up to go to the bathroom, and I noticed I was very wet. <laughs> and it was quite a bit. Like, my underwear was soaked. It wasn't just, like, a little spot. I could almost, like, wring it out. Like, it was very, very wet, and it was on my pants and through my pants and everything. That's definitely an abnormal amount of fluid. And, of course, my number one concern at that point was is my amniotic sac ruptured is my water leaking and if so that is definitely not good so when i had colette two days before she was born i had basically the same exact thing happen i decided not to go in and i figured that it was okay i was naive i was 16 i had no idea and then i went into my checkup two days later and mentioned it to my doctor she had me go to the hospital and check and do a little test to see if I was leaking amniotic fluid. The test came back negative, but now looking back, that was probably incorrect. I assume just because it was two days later that it had dried up and you couldn't really tell, which is why I wanted to come in right away. And then I was dilated to a four and she came hours later. So with my previous history of how things happened with Colette, I definitely needed to come in and make sure I wasn't leaking amniotic fluid because if I am that is very very dangerous. I'm only 24 weeks and five days. It's actually past midnight so six days not five. When I went in two days later my doctor told me if you would have come in sooner we could have done something to prevent this and she wouldn't have been born early and that just stuck in my head when deciding whether or not to come in. And I figured it's better safe than sorry. So here we are and we're about to find out any second now. We just took the little test and swabbed me to see if there is any amniotic fluid coming out. And I don't really know what's going to happen if that test comes back and says that I am leaking. But I'm definitely glad that I'm here and early enough to take steps to prevent things from happening. With Colette, they tried to slow down my labor, but I was already dilated to a four. We're in triage right now, and on the other side of this wall, a woman is in full-on labor, screaming, <laughs> and it's scaring me even more because uh, I'm already, like, scared enough, and then, like, hearing how much pain she's in, it's just really terrifying. Okay, so the doctor just came in. Thank God it is not my amniotic fluid. She kind of explained that while it not may have felt like I peed, sometimes with the position that the baby's in, she just kind of kicks my bladder wrong and it just kind of gushes out like a gush, not like a normal pee. So I guess that's what happened. She said if there was any bit of amniotic fluid that they would know. So that's really good to hear. Like literally me and Landon both just like the second she told us. I know, I was literally crying on the way here because I was so scared. I know, I was crying too. So it was like a huge relief to hear that. Mm -hmm. We're definitely going home tonight and I almost feel stupid for coming in, but I'm glad I have the reassurance because it really freaked me out. Like when I was having contractions, it was like, yeah, I'm like having contractions, but that's kind of stoppable. But like if my freaking, you know, water broke, that's a lot more serious and less controllable and stoppable. I'm glad I came in, but at the same time, this is my second time coming to the hospital thinking that she's coming like super soon. Because it seems like you have to, like we have a premature baby mm -hmm. and it's just scary. You know? Yeah. Like, I'm extra cautious this time because I wasn't with Colette and that caused issues. I've just had a really emotional day just thinking that <sighs> things were going to go wrong. I'm, like, crying happy tears <laughs> that things are okay. But, yeah, it's just with Colette, I wasn't cautious at all with it, that kind of thing because I didn't know. I was 16. I had no idea what I was doing. And... My doctor straight up told me that if I wasn't so stupid that 
she wouldn't have come early. That doctor was horrible and super mean, but now I feel like every little thing, I'm like, oh my god, she's coming. <laughs> um, so, I'm really glad she's okay. I'm scared that if the real thing does happen, I'll be like, oh, it's nothing. I don't need to go in again, because every time I go in, they just tell me it's nothing. <sighs> so, I don't know. We'll probably be back. We'll probably be back. We'll probably be back and be told it's nothing, but it's better to be safe than sorry. And we're just both really anxious people and think the worst. But you know, I'd rather know. It's kind of embarrassing. They're like, you just beat yourself. <sighs> what a day. Colette is with my sister. We were hanging out and so she ended up just driving me to the hospital and then going to our house to watch her while she's sleeping. It is like, 12 30 right now and we'll be home soon enough to take care of her and then my sister will be able to go back home i have an appointment tomorrow with my normal OBGYN just to check up and then i have an appointment the day after that to go and get my shot my weekly shot so we will be here plenty <laughs> in the next few days literally three days in a row at the doctors so she's definitely getting monitored really often and we're definitely looking out for her and keeping a close eye on her my doctor is looking at my records from my specialist doctor about my cervix shortening because it was shortening at my last appointment she said it was shorter than normal so she's just yeah. looking at those records real quick and she's going to come back and talk to me about that and then we're going to head out and get back to Colette. All right, she just came in. She said she looked at my records and it is short, but not scary short for my gestational age. So she doesn't feel the need to check my cervix because sometimes that does more harm than good. She did say to stay off my feet, not bed rest, but not going on hikes or spending the whole day running around shopping, running errands, all that kind of stuff and to just take it easy, get my body rest. Because the shortening of my cervix is definitely not good. It's not dire, but it is not a good thing. And the more I'm overworking my body, the shorter it's going to get. But I got to go ahead to change into my piss clothes <laughs> that are covered in pee. I don't have a change of clothes. I should ask Lennon to bring some. But just got to wear them on the ride home and I can change. But we're headed out of here. Walk of shame out of the hospital. No baby, not going into labor, just beat myself. Made it back home, it is currently two in the morning, so we're definitely very tired. It feels good to be safe and sound and just know that everything's okay. Every time something like this happens, it just makes me realize how much of a blessing it is every single day that she is still growing and healthy and on the inside of my body and not out because that's really the safest place for her to be right now so we're just going to continue to pray that nothing happens and she just stays in there as long as possible but we're headed to bed for the night haven't really seen colette all night so i'm excited to see her in the morning good morning camely good morning we got somewhat of a good night's rest after that fiasco yeah we are up early though for another doctor's appointment going to the doctor again but at least we got a little sleep before we have to go yeah i know we definitely needed that <laughs> let's go see what's up with this baby even though we just saw her <laughs> you having fun dog dog there's a dog right here look yeah dog it's a dog what does the dog say yeah. Another day, another hospital visit. And another chunk out of our bank. <laughs> yeah. We had like a little payment due today, so that was fun to take care of just now. But we were waiting for the doctor, and I think we're gonna just do a little Doppler scan thing uh -huh. just to hear the heartbeat and make sure she's good. Even though we just heard her heartbeat last night, it was so cute. She had the hiccups. Yeah, and you could see it on the little monitor. She's like, baby girl has hiccups right now. <laughs> But yeah, should be pretty quick and easy. I have a few questions I want to talk to my doctor about regarding like my birth plan and everything. So hopefully Colette behaves. She's listening to Baby Shark right now. <laughs> Let's go. Run away. Run away. <laughs> Run away. 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 Run
She's so funny. <laughs> Colette did so good. She was kind of freaked out when they brought up the little Doppler and she didn't know what they were doing to me. She's very protective of her mama. But Landon kind of held her and showed her like what was going on and they actually let her do it. It was so funny. So she like let her hold it because she was like, look, it's just a little stick and we're just gonna put it on mama's belly. And then Colette just does it. She just like puts it on my belly. And then the doctor put gel on it and she literally let Colette read the heartbeat of the baby. It was the cutest thing. The doctor recommended some VBAC classes just so we're really informed on everything going into having a VBAC and some just standard birthing classes as well. So definitely gonna look into that. Anyways, it has been a super stressful 24 hours so we really just wanna spend the rest of our day just having fun. We're just gonna go out and get some food and shop around and just have some family time. Colette needs a nap though, so we're gonna go home first, let her nap, and then head back out. We are up from our nap. Colette ended up sleeping for a really, really long time. And then we were tired from last night as well, so we all just had a big family nap. It was great. But we're here, and we're gonna go get some tacos. This is kind of like a early dinner, more than a lunch <laughs> type of thing. We kind of slept through lunch. But that's how life works sometimes. That's just how it be. But we are really hungry, so let's go eat. We got our food and I got a chicken and waffles. That's not oh, that's wait. such a no. I got a chicken and waffles, a buffalo, spicy buffalo. And I got a little Cuban. It's like a Cuban sandwich, but tacos. I love this place because they have like really unique tacos. And Colette got taters. What's that? Oh, this is cheese curds. Okay. Our tacos were delicious as always and now we're headed to Sprinkles Cupcakes for a little sweetness, for a little dessert. Baby girl was like, that's good and all, but I'm craving some sugar. I thought it was cocoa. Yes. She sees the candy store. Oh no. <laughs> we have to pass the candy store and get to the cupcake shop without her freaking out. Uh oh. We're gonna go get sugar, I promise, just not at here. Dada, dada. <laughs> Come on, let's go. She wants me to take her in there. Yeah. She's like, Dada, come on, I'm knocking on the door. She wants a ball. She sees the gumballs. Dada, dada, dada. Fine. Come on, we'll hop in here real quick. I don't have 25 cents. Oh, look at these balls. They're chocolate. You're oh. <laughs> <laughs> just going to take the whole bucket. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> you can have a bite. Mmm, <laughs> watermelon. I like those. I'm going to steal some. I had a really good one last time. It was like super sour little ropes. Uh -huh. I know that one. Oh my goodness. You're not getting a cupcake, that's for sure. <laughs> if you're getting a bag of sugar, you're not getting a cupcake. Okay, here's your bag of sugar. Alright, you wanna go pay for it? Let's go. We're already eating half of their store. Coco, go tell Dada to get me one of these. Say, go get this for Mama. Give this to Dada. No. Thank you. How generous of you. I'm trying to tell you something. <laughs> Cat? What's that? Is meow. That meow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cat? It's a cat. Meow. Oh. <laughs> All right, we're continuing on. Are you so happy? Come on, let's go. I want a cupcake. All right, final decision. Oops, I smushed it already. Oh no, is it broken? It's fine. It's dark chocolate. Oh, don't even start, girlfriend. You have a bag of candy. She spits out her candy, puts it in her hand. She's like, I don't need to eat this candy. I can make room. You're silly. This is mine. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. I'll give you one bite. Mmm. Yummy. Oh, she's hooked. Can I go get her a little one? Okay, I'll be right back. <laughs> Is that Dada? 
Oh yeah. Say again. Eat it. Oh, no, oh, 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 oh. Mm. <laughs> mm. I think I got two. You got two. Ooh, that's cute. Don't drop this one. <laughs> this is your redemption shot. <laughs> I was already full before the cupcake, so now I am stuffed. I look like I am carrying twins, but it's really just my tacos. <laughs> we had a nice little family outing, but we are tired, and the doctor said I shouldn't be walking around too much. So we are headed back. She sees a dog somewhere. She keeps saying dog. Go get the dog. So we made it back home, and I am so happy because there's a package waiting for me, and I think I know what it is. What is it? I ordered a little dress. It's super pretty, super flowy for my maternity photo shoot. So I think that's what it is. And if so, I'm gonna go try it on and show you guys. It's so cute, it's from Free People. All right, what do you think? It looks pretty. And I'll be like 30 weeks by then. So that's like five weeks from now. And my bump will definitely be a lot bigger. This is gonna be for the one that we do kind of like out in nature and like a field somewhere. So it'll be really cute to have like Landon and Colette like match with it and like do neutral tones and everything. But yeah, I love it. It's exactly what I was expecting. I feel like a princess. I love it. I don't want to take it off. I'm gonna sleep in it. <laughs> I still have to grab a little sheer like lace thing. I think I'm just gonna get that on Amazon because I'm doing a milk bath. We're doing like a casual at home one. And then we're doing one out in nature in this outfit. And that's gonna be more of like a family photo shoot with Colette and Layden, like I said. So yeah, it's exciting to start planning all that out. Hopefully I make it to 30 weeks and I'm able to have my photo shoot. That's pretty much it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video, Kimberly.